and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. ECOWAS rejects Junta's three-year transition plan. The Economic Community of West African States has rejected Niger Junta's three-year power transition plan. ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security, Abdul Fattah Musa, stated this during an interview with the BBC on Sunday. The Punch reports that the head of the military junta in Niger Republic, General Abdurrahman Tiani, on Saturday, said he would relinquish power within three years and warned that any intervention by foreign forces would not be a walk in the park. He stated in a televised address broadcast by Tele Sahil, our ambition is not to confiscate power. The transition period will not exceed three years. Meanwhile, political parties are urged to submit their vision for the transition within 30 days. There's availability for any dialogue, provided that it takes into account the aspirations of the people of Niger. However, any intervention will open Pandora box and will not be a walk in the park. His warning followed the arrival of an ECOWAS delegation in the country for a final diplomatic push before deciding on military intervention against the junta. But in the BBC interview, Musa said that Chiani's proposal was just a smokescreen for dialogue and diplomacy. He said, ECOWAS is not accepting any prolonged transition again in the region. They just have to get ready to hand over in the shortest possible time. He added that the military aspect is very much on. The earlier they give power back to civilians and concentrate on their primary responsibility that is defending the territorial integrity of Niger, the better for them. Regional efforts to reverse the coup have been backed by the US and France, which both have military bases in Niger. These bases are part of efforts to tackle jihadist groups in the wider Sahel region. The junta leader, who headed the presidential guard before seizing power on 26 July, said military intervention could worsen the Islamist insurgencies linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group. They seem ignorant to the fact that it is in large part thanks to the professionalism and valor of the defense and security forces of Niger that Niger has remained a barrier preventing terrorist hordes from destabilizing the whole region, he said. ECOWAS has threatened military action to reverse last month's overthrow of President Mohamed Bazoum if talks fail. The junta head said that Niger did not want a war but would defend itself against any foreign intervention. If an attack were to be undertaken against us, it will not be the walk in the park some people seem to think, he warned in his televised address on Saturday evening. Jen Chiani also reiterated criticism of what he called the illegal and inhumane sanctions imposed by ECOWAS on the landlocked country. This has included cutting electricity, resulting in blackouts in Niame and other major cities, as well as blocking crucial imports. Lorry drivers have been stuck for weeks waiting to bring in supplies, forcing up food prices. Sanctions are not conceived with the aim of finding a solution but to bring us to our knees and humiliate us, Jen Chiani said. Thousands of men came to a stadium in Niame on Saturday to register for a volunteer force in case of invasion, although overcrowding prevented the registration process from starting, the Reuters news agency reports. Pro-junta protesters on Sunday took to the streets of Niame to restate their support for the military takeover of power in Niger Republic. According to AFP, the demonstrators chanted slogans hostile to former colonial power France and West African regional bloc, ECOWAS, which is considering a potential military operation to reinstate elected President Mohamed Bazoum if ongoing negotiations with coup leaders fail. Although the Sahel state's new military leaders have officially banned protests, in practice, those in support of the coup are allowed to go ahead. The demonstrators waved placards saying, stop the military intervention, and no to sanctions, in reference to the financial and trade restrictions imposed by ECOWAS four days after the coup on July 26. Sunday's pro-coup rally had musicians praising the new military regime, AFP reports. The latest in a string of pro-coup rallies came a day after the new military ruler in Niame warned an attack on Niger would not be a walk in the park. General Abdurrahmani Chiani also said in a televised address on Saturday that he did not wish to confiscate 
power and that a transition of power back to civilian rule would not go beyond three years. Niger became the third Sahel country in less than three years, following neighbors Mali and Burkina Faso, to be shaken by a military coup. In a joint statement, the governments of Burkina Faso and Mali warned that disastrous consequences of a military intervention in Niger could destabilize the entire region. Any military intervention against Niger would be considered as a declaration of war against Burkina Faso and Mali, the statement reads. Niger coup. Any attempt to remove Chiani-led military junta by force will further escalate tension, Tuck warns ECOWAS. Trades Union Congress, TUC, has condemned the resolve of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, to deploy a standby force to Niger to restore democracy. We hold a strong view that any attempt to remove the Chiani-led military junta in Niger by force will further escalate the tension and the insecurity in the region, Dr. Yor Bar, Secretary General of TUC, said in a statement copied to the Ghana News Agency. This follows a meeting held by the TUC on August 18, 2023, in Accra to discuss the situation in Niger. According to the TUC, there was simply no reason for ECOWAS to wage a war in Niger, more so when there was no consensus among ECOWAS members. A war in Niger or anywhere in the region has a very great potential to create the environment for more insurgents and even more coup d'etats in the region, which may lead to further instability and insecurity. None can impose democracy on any country until and unless the people themselves are ready for it, the statement added. The Tuck noted that it believed that through diplomacy, constitutional order could be re-established in the Republic of Niger if ECOWAS leaders engaged the military junta in good faith, with clean hearts and clear minds. It urged the military junta to return Niger to constitutional rule immediately to preempt any senseless war in our region. The leadership condemned the coup and said any act that disturbed the constitutional order in any country needed to be condemned because it took that society back to the old order where a few people illegally took and usurped power that belonged to the people. The Tuck will always support democracy because that is the only way to ensure respect for constitutional order, respect for rule of law, respect for human rights, including the rights of workers, separation of powers and respect for the rights of women and men as groups and as individuals, the statement added. The Tuck said all efforts should, therefore, be made to deepen and sustain democracy on the continent by creating and strengthening democratic institutions. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.